Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is Raja from IIT Madras. I am a MNC Research Fellow in the Department of Electric Engineering at IIT Madras. So now the gate results have been announced. So many of you are wondering uh, with which part to choose, whether to go for MTech or MS or PhD, direct PhD or even PhD. I know it is very much challenging as well as confusing and some cases very much irritating as well. Uh, uh, around 2-3 years back I was also in the same boat I was also so much confused which path uh, might be a better option for me but somehow I ended up at IIT Madras pursuing MS so in this video I am going to tell you uh, a deeper distinction between two similar programs MTech and MS on the basis of my own experience of these 2 or 3 years so uh, uh, there is a general perception about MTech and MS and aspirants are not aware about uh, these two similar programs in much detail and uh, they are not uh, without the proper knowledge they are not able to make an informed choice so at this stage it is very important to make an informed choice for your career because uh, one wrong decision can make or break your career so in this video I want to uh, tell you in much detail how these programs are similar and how these programs are different. So let's start. So uh, let's first go with the curriculum. How is the syllabus and how is the course, uh, these two courses are designed. So first thing is MTech and another thing is uh, MS. Uh, so let me clarify you right in the beginning that MS and MTech by research are both similar programs. In India you will find somewhere MTech and some uh, somewhere MTech by research and somewhere MS but both are similar like in IIT Bombay it is called MTech by research but in here IIT Madhya it is called MS but they are similar and in foreign you generally find MS program there is no MTech there, but in India the conventional option is MTech. Apart from that, uh, uh, all this on the basis of my experience at IIT Madras, so it may be biased towards the IIT Madras, but uh, the situation is more or less similar all over in Indian in institutes. So don't worry about that. Now let's come to the curriculum part. So the general perception is like. MTech is a two years course based program and MS is a three year three years research based program. So uh, yeah, MTech is definitely a fixed course work program. You will have to complete the minimum required of a number number of credits by pursuing some courses every semester and once you complete that minimum credit, you are ready to go with your MTech degree. But in case of MS, it is not like that. Although it is generally said that it is a three years program, but let me tell you that it is very much variable. It can be 2.5 years, in some cases two years as well, in some cases three years, 3.5, four years. So at the end, it all depends on you and your supervisor uh, how much is a MS course for you. So you need to aware about this uh, prospect uh, right in the beginning before opting for the MS course. Uh, so I've seen uh, uh, here in IIT Madhya lot of people complete MS even uh, uh, at the end of five years or seven years. So it can be very much variable. And other thing is uh, yes, it is a research based program and. Uh, it is completely research based program and it is generally said for the mini form of PhD so you will get the, all the taste of PhD but to a lesser extent in this program so like MTech there is no minimum number of credits as such so although you need to complete some courses which is very much less uh, like uh, I can give you the, some numbers like you have to do only 5 courses uh, in IIT Madras as compared to 7 to 8 courses per semester for MTech counterpart. So the number of course courses is very much less 
in case of MS. So the main evaluation criteria in case of MS is your research, your publication, your thesis. So without any research aptitude, without any interest in research, it can be very much challenging to complete uh, MS based uh, MS course. So please be aware about these challenges. So I've seen a lot of people uh, just uh, opt for the MS program because they are getting with a low grade to score and with uh, 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 less grade to score and through an interview and somehow enter the MS program. Uh, but they don't have any research aptitude, they are not even interested in research and they just want to go for the placement. So I've seen that such people generally face a lot of challenges in completing MS and in some cases they generally uh, drop the MS course. So if you are going for the MS course uh, just on this uh, perception that uh, you will enter with uh, less gate score and then go with the placement then definitely the MS course is not a good option for you because uh, maybe uh, the entry requirements for MS maybe is little less tough uh, for some people but the exit requirement is quite tough so uh, it is very well said that entry is easy but exit you don't know just like a PhD uh, uh, you will somehow get entry to, into the PhD program but in exit can be very much long and you have to find the exit uh, uh, by your own so as like PhD uh, MS is very much governed by your guide but in case of MTech uh, the requirement and role of research uh, supervisor or guide is very much less so uh, MTech is based uh, on you only uh, like a bit tech just complete the courses do some internship and then go for the placement and complete the team. So after talking about the curriculum, let's talk about the placement in the package. So as I have told you that uh, intake is a research uh, course based program and uh, you have to do the minimum required of credits and then uh, you are ready to go uh, with the degree. And, and I think at the third of semester or second semester you also get the opportunity for the industrial internship or corporate internship uh, treating. So in that way, the MTech students are very much uh, are well prepared for the placement uh, uh, through their internship and training. Uh, even some MTech students get the PPO uh, pre-placement offer well in advance even for the uh, placement. But in case of MS, uh, it all depends on your research supervisor and I have generally seen that research supervisor do not allow for MS student to go for any internship or uh, training as such so they don't get much industrial exposure and they are very much focused on their research so during the placement time they don't uh, they are not much prepared for the placement and that's why the placement for the MS students are little less as compared to the as compared to the MTech counterparts. So that's why I've seen that uh, MTech students generally get placed first before the MS student, and the package is also uh, a little high for the MTech student. And although the uh, opportunity which you will get from the institute side will be similar for both programs you will get the similar stage but many recruiters I have seen uh, uh, want the MTech students as compared to the MS students I don't know exactly why but yeah, I have definitely seen that they have a perception uh, different perception about the MTech and MS and uh, at the end it depends on the recruiter how, uh, 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 how much they are willing to recruit any student so that is the placement scenario for both this program but uh, I can definitely say uh, uh, 
tell you that if you are passionate about your subject and if you are really interested about any subject you will definitely get the opportunity in both programs and at the end depends on you how you are utilizing that opportunity and how much you are able to uh, get the uh, 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 utilize that opportunity to secure a job for you so uh, that's the thing now after the placement uh, let's talk about the stipend and funding so mtech is a two years program and generally in mtech you will get 12400 directly from the msrd uh, government and you will get for the two years so uh, it is uh, fixed that you will get the stipend for two years uh, 12,400 uh, 12, for two years but in case of MS again the stipend is again variable uh, it depends on your supervisor uh, how much he is willing to pay and uh, how he is sourcing your stipend some cases this, your stipend can be stopped uh, uh, even for two years and uh, some cases uh, it will get more stipend as compared to the MTEC student so there are both pros and cons but uh, at the end it depends on your supervisor how much is supportive and how is willing to give you the stipend so in a case of MS the stipend can be sourced from the project or government or MHRD so that's why it is quite variable and it depends on your guide but uh, in, many institute it is more or less similar uh, in, in aspect of the staff uh, apart from that like in case of MS you need to go abroad for your conference so you will get the extra support extra financial support for your conference uh, as far as I know so if you are getting the stipend from the through the MHRD uh, then definitely you will get the funding for conference but if you're getting the stipend through any project, then the conference funding is not there. But in case of MTech, uh, generally there is no funding. Even if you're uh, getting the stipend from the government, you will not get any support for the conferences. But there's some other uh, financial support, uh, like from the alumni or some external uh, parties. But uh, in case of MTech, there is no criteria to publish any research paper. That's why there is no financial support for uh, conference. But in case of MS, there is a criteria for conferences. So that's why, just like PhD, you will get the financial support for that. <coughs> so, yeah. Now, let's come to the completion criteria. So, as for, for, for the MTech, as I've told you, you just need to complete the minimum credits and then you are ready to go and at the end you need to complete uh, uh, a final year in tech project and then uh, I think you need to do some project but uh, that can be uh, that is very much uh, less rigorous compared to the MS but yeah you need to do a project just like your BTEC you might have done the BTEC project so in the same way you need to do the MTech project but in case of MS the completion criteria can again be very much variable so some supervisor can ask you for two conference papers some can ask for you two journal papers some can ask for even for a patent so it can be very much different and even for your peer who is working with you in the same lab it can be very much different for you and your peer so again it depends on your supervisor how much uh, how criteria how much criteria he is setting for you and how is you perceiving your research capability and research aptitude so again it is very much variable so at the end this only decide your completion and your deletion of your MS. but at the end <coughs> uh, after publishing uh, your research Although it can be very much uh, daunting uh, in the first, but once you complete your research and publish your research paper, it is very much satisfying. And 
it is very much satisfying to think that uh, at least you have contributed something to the broader scientific community and in maybe in future your contribution will be utilized to develop some product so if you think from that perspective yeah it is definitely very much satisfying so yeah it is good to have at least one research paper if and uh, you are doing the mtech program uh, it can definitely help you in your career even if you are going for the corporate uh, career <coughs> research is something that is uh, not uh, uh, not uh, i think uh, like we don't need a uh, very much high knowledge you just need to have an aptitude for research uh, with that perspective only you can uh, contribute your uh, knowledge into the broader scientific community so yeah that the thing uh, about uh, mtech and ms uh, apart from that uh, apart from that let me conclude uh, my video here like which uh, is a good option for you if you are considering both mtech and ms so uh as uh, i can definitely tell you that ms is just like a phd so if you are interested in phd maybe in the future but right now you are not ready to uh, commit four or five years of long duration for the phd then definitely you can go for the ms program you will definitely get a good taste of phd uh, in this ms program and on the basis of your experience you can later decide whether to go for the phd or not <coughs> but uh, if you're not uh, at all interested in this such a uh, very much focus on the placement per, uh, point only then definitely i will now suggest you to go for the ms uh, because it can be very much challenging for you in the future to complete the ms program with that perspective so uh if you are not ready for the research and to embrace that much challenges then definitely i will not suggest to to go for them as even if you are getting with a, a less great score it is better to prepare again and then opt for the mtech course uh, maybe in the future so i hope this video will help you make an informed choice about your career so think uh, about it once and think uh, uh, and introspect yourself your capabilities and on the basis of that only uh, decide about your career so i hope this video will help you uh, in making some informed choice so with that uh, thank you for watching this video uh, goodbye take care happy learning